In this video, we're going to talk about the angle-angle criterion for similar triangles. But first, let's start with a reminder of what it means for two triangles to be similar. We say that two triangles are similar if their corresponding angles are congruent and the lengths of corresponding sides have the same ratio. Now, although similar triangles have these properties, we don't actually have to check all of these properties to check whether two triangles are similar. There's a much easier criterion called the angle-angle criterion that we'll explain here. The angle-angle criterion goes like this. If two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle, then these two triangles are similar. So basically, as long as we can find two pairs of congruent angles between two triangles, then we know that the two triangles are similar. Meaning not only are all the corresponding angles congruent, but also the lengths of corresponding sides have the same ratio. So now we want to use that angle-angle criterion to tell whether the given triangles are similar. First we've got a right triangle with a 70 degree angle labeled, and then we've also got a triangle with angles 20 degrees and 70 degrees labeled. Now right off the bat we notice that we have one pair of congruent angles, this 70 degree angle and that 70 degree angle. And are there any other pairs of congruent angles? Well, it doesn't look like we have any labeled, but we do have some unlabeled angles. Um, maybe one of those will lead to a congruent pair. Um, so let's see if we can find one of these missing angle measures. How about look in this triangle? What's this angle here? Well, we know that there's 180 degrees in a triangle and we have the measures of the two other angles, 70 degrees and this right angle is of course 90 degrees. So why don't we compute this third angle based on that information? So we'll just take 180 degrees and then subtract off these other two angles, so minus 90 degrees and minus 70 degrees, and then the result should be the final angle. So let's go ahead and do that. 180 degrees minus 90 degrees is just 90 degrees, and then 90 degrees minus 70 degrees is just 20 degrees. So this third angle in the triangle is really 20 degrees. And there we go, we have another pair of of congruent angles, this 20 degree angle, and that 20 degree angle here. So these are also congruent, and therefore since we have two pairs of congruent angles, we can conclude by the angle-angle criterion that yes, the triangles are similar. Okay, so how about the next set of triangles? Here's a triangle with 40 degrees and 30 degrees labeled, and then we've also got a triangle with 40 degrees and 50 degrees labeled. And right off the bat, we see one pair of congruent angles. There's this 40 degrees angle here, and that 40 degrees angle there in both of the triangles. So there's our first pair of congruent angles. And the question is, can we find a second pair? Again, the remaining labeled angles, 30 degrees and 50 degrees, are clearly not congruent, but we do have missing angles. So we should solve for those first before we jump to any conclusions. To solve for the missing angle, we can do the same procedure as we did in the previous example. Just take 180 and subtract off those existing angles. That'll give us the final third angle. So in this triangle, 180 degrees minus the two angles, 40 degrees and 30 degrees. What does that come out to? Well, 180 minus 40 is 140. And then 140 minus 30 is 110. So this missing angle is really 110 degrees. We can do the same thing for this triangle here. Start with 180 degrees and subtract off the labeled angles. So 180 degrees minus 40 degrees minus 50 degrees. And 180 minus 40 is 140. And 140 minus 50 is 90. So this missing angle is 90 degrees. So now we have all of the angles, 30, 110, 50, 90. We see that none of these are equal, and therefore there aren't any other pairs of congruent angles. So we just have that single pair here, 
But that's not enough for similarity according to the angle-angle criterion. We need two pairs of congruent angles for the triangles to be similar. So we can conclude that no, since we have only one pair, the triangles are not similar. All right, here is another problem. Given the triangles, triangle ABC and triangle DEF below, with angle A congruent to angle D and angle C congruent to angle F, what are the values of X and Y? First of all, notice that because angle A is congruent to angle D, and because angle C is congruent to angle F, we can apply the angle-angle criterion and say that because there are two pairs of congruent angles, we conclude that the triangles are similar. Triangle A, B, C is similar to triangle D, E, F. And because of that, we know that the corresponding sides all share the same ratio. So let's write that down. Some common ratio is the ratio of all the sides. So first of all, we've got this x plus y side and this 4 side that are corresponding because they're crossed from corresponding angles. So common ratio is equal to x plus y over 4. Also, x plus 2y and 6 are corresponding sides. So the common ratio is also equal to x plus 2y over 6. And lastly, 15 and 5 are corresponding sides. So the common ratio is equal to also 15 over 5. And hey, 15 over 5 gives us a concrete number that can be simplified. 15 divided by 5 is just 3. So the common ratio is 3, and we have two equations that result from that. First of all, we've got x plus y over 4 is equal to 3. And we've also got x plus 2y over 6 is equal to 3. Now we can simplify each of these equations. So x plus y over 4 equals 30. If we multiply both sides by 4 times 4, we get that x plus y is equal to 12. And now with this x plus 2y over 6 equals 3, if we multiply both sides by 6, get rid of that denominator, we just get x plus 2y equals 18. And this is a great opportunity for elimination. All we have to do is subtract um, the bottom equation from the top equation. That'll, that'll eliminate x here. So let's do that. So subtract. What's the result? Well, x minus x cancels. And so we just get rid of that. And then y minus 2y is negative y. And then 12 minus 18 is negative 6. And then just multiply both sides by negative 1. So y is equal to 6. Let's circle this because this is part of the solution. Now that we know what y is, we can plug that into one of these equations and then solve for x. We can back substitute. So let's take that and plug it into the equation x plus y equals 12. When we plug it in there, we have that x plus 6 is equal to 12. And when we subtract 6 from both sides, we see that x is equal to 6. So x and y are both 6. So there is our final solution. x equals 6, y equals 6. So now we know how to use the angle-angle criterion to tell whether two triangles are similar. And in the future, we will also learn about some other criteria that we can use to determine whether two triangles are similar.